Um, what you meant to me was you were like the ideal coach, the ideal person. And by that, you mentored us very well. You know, you taught us responsibility. You taught us self-confidence. You instilled that in us. And you just made a great environment for a bunch of kids, all ages from six to 12. You taught us, um, you just taught us how to be people and that winning felt great and doing what you're supposed to do, making sacrifices for other people felt great. And it was just a good, it was good all around. Hey man, uh, Hunter Smith running back at the University of Louisiana Monroe. I just want to say Coach Reggie is a great coach, you know. Um, he's very inspirational to the kids and the youth, you know. When he was, um, when I was playing for him, when I played for the Lions, he made sure he take care of his players, you know. He made sure he was hands-on with the players and the family just so everybody could feel involved and, you know, the, it, it made a whole community out of it, you know. And um, he, he inspired us all, you know, with his whole NFL's journey and all of that. Like, you know, he made sure he let us know that there was more to life than just, you know, ball and just – just the city that we were living in and growing up in, you know, he showed us there was more to the world and he took us around the country and all of these different things. Like, he's a great coach and he's gonna make sure that your players are well taken care of. And I just believe, you know, that's the best fit. Coach Reggie really inspired me a lot. He taught me the fundamentals of the game and how to play the game the right way. And I really carried that with me through the rest of my middle school years, my high school years. And he really instilled in me what it meant to be a man when I was a kid and that really meant a lot to me. And he's one of the people I look to as a father figure in my life. And I, for that, I always appreciate him and love him for who he was as a coach and as a man. I'm Jalen McKinney, and I just really want to say that Coach Reggie means a lot to me as a man and as a football player because at a young age, he was there. He was a good, uh, positive male role model for me. He was always there. He made sure I got better not only as an athlete, but also as a person. And he's really uh, influential who I want to be today. And I model myself after him and a lot of things he do. He's always there for his uh, former players. He's always checked up on me, made sure it's okay after I had surgeries. He came to my games. He's talked to me. He's kept in touch. He's just a, a great guy overall. And I really think that um, he deserves this job. And this will really help boost him as a coach and show that he can coach more than just a little kid. He can coach on any level. And I really have a lot of trust in Coach Reggie. My name is Caleb Knox. Uh, I want to say Coach Reggie helped me in a lot of ways, but two of them, or one of them that I will speak on is he helped me become a better man. Because when I was younger, you know, I was kind of a little rough around the edges uh, playing little league football with him as he was my coach. But, you know, he put me to the right direction. Uh, you know, told me what was like, what was right and wrong. He was basically like another father figure in a way. Uh, but, you know, just over the, over my football, over my football league. Uh, you know, I really appreciate him for that. And I always have respect for him. My name is Kyle Nice. I coach Reggie Hill. Me it was back in the day in Little League. You know, it's just me and my brother. We was on the team, but Coach Reggie taught me how to take coaching and take criticism, and not always take everything that he that coaches say as a bad thing. Knowing that if the coach better, if the coach ain't saying nothing to you at all, he don't want you to get better. He ain't not messing with you. And that was one thing Coach Reggie. He was good. At, he was good at telling people the truth and keeping it keeping it real with us, basically. You know, we needed something. He was always there. You know, when kids want to stay late, he'll be able to get the extra work with us. And, and really, he really helped me get to where I am today. Like I said, I'm in my junior season, junior year of college football at UAPB. And um, I'm grateful for him to come into my life and help me out when I when I was little. And I really think y'all should give Coach Reggie a chance. Hey, my dad's helped me a lot with a lot of things as far as football-wise. He's – um. Helped me get to college multiple times, play football teams. He has a lot of connections. He helped me get to UAM. Um, helped me get to Jackson State. He had connections with Jackson State. Um, my dad's been a lot, been a lot, been a lot to me. He done how he's helped me with football. Helped me get to where I'm at as far as skill wise. Helped me train. He knows a lot, and I'm not going through a lot of times as far as not listening. But when it comes to football, or when it comes to know what to do. He's always been the person that can help me and the person I know what best to do. There's a lot of experiences. I learned a lot from living with him and learning football under him. Popping coach, really. Hey, Bob. Yeah. Uh, with a quick little series video, I tell him, personally, you was my father at the end of the day. You always be my father. When you took me in, when my mama took me to your field and then he stand and play football, 
treat me like a son, even though you didn't have to. You know what I'm saying? You always, you was always there for me. You always been there for me. Make sure I had folks food, clothes, anything on my back. Make sure my mama and my brothers are a shirt. You know what I'm saying? I love you for that. You always taught me to exceed in life. Even if it's not in football, go do something special. Don't just sit around and do stuff that them boys in the streets was doing. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it all worked out in the end for me. You taught me how to be a man. Even though we ain't talking every day, even though we went our separate ways when I was in middle school, you always called and checked up on me when I needed you the most. And you probably didn't know I needed you the most. You know what I'm saying? I went through a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I'm glad you was there. I'm glad you was there. All is well. Love you, Coach Reyes. Hell. This is Robert Spears, Jr. here, safety at the University of Oklahoma. And I just came here to tell you how great of a coach Coach Swinton is and how much he's impacted my life. Um, it goes all the way back to when I lived in Little Rock, Arkansas, when I played for the Arkansas Lions. Um, he was a great coach, always pushed me, always pushed me harder than any other coach because he knew what type of talent I had and what I had inside of me. And off the field, like he had us doing community service, uh, actually learning our history, taking us around um, Central Arkansas. Central Arkansas High School, just going off of history, just telling us stuff like that. Um, he has reunions still to this day. He keeps in touch with all his old players. He's just a great coach in my eyes, and I think he'd be a great coach for you, uh, your program. Hello, my name is Quincy Rose, current football player at the University of Arkansas. Played football for Coach Reggie 2013 through 2018. And he's very, um, he's very much like a father figure to me. Um, I can call him when I need anything and just have conversation with him, but Coach Reggie's very involved with the kids, uh, gets a lot of kids exposure. Um, he he's a he's a man you can come to when uh, a lot of kids have problems. Um, I know when I played for him, he taught me a little bit uh, about the game. He knows a lot about the game due to his uh, experience in the NFL, and he is the man for the job. My name is Tony Wilkins, class of twenty five, North Little Rock High School. Uh, I just want to say. Coach Reggie taught me a lot in my young life. Uh, he played a father figure role in my life, so he's very special to me. But on the field, he taught me a lot of stuff, like breeding me into a receiver and knowing how to run routes correctly and knowing when to run the right routes and like when to choose, when to pick and choose, what routes to run against a certain DB. But yeah. Coach Reggie shouldn't mean to me. Coach Reggie Swinton means a lot to me because he was my first actual coach that, like, taught me through, like, mental reps, uh, physical reps. He he made sure I, I, I kept good grades. He made sure I was doing good in school and outside of school. So when it comes to, like, being a great coach, I feel like he, he exceeds that those measurements, if, if you understand what I'm saying. I feel like he he does things that other coaches doesn't do. Like, he he sometimes he could... You could be struggling with a rep at practice or whatever. He could pull you to the side, talk you through it, show you how, how what you could do better and, and what you was messing up on. And I feel like other, some coaches don't take the time out to do that, and that's what separates him from other coaches. So he'll be here and other coaches will be there. And I also feel like he is, is more than, is more than a, a game to him. Some coaches only think about kids and what they can do on the field for them. Coach Reggie doesn't. And that, that means a lot to me because some, some coaches don't do that to other kids. And some coaches don't take time out to help other kids excel their game, and he does. And I appreciate Coach Reggie Swinton for that. My name is Bill Corey Davis, and I just want to say Coach Reggie played a big role in my youth life. When I came to his team, when I didn't have a team, he came to me with open arms and allowed me to play on his team. With that being said, I found a lot of people that I call my brothers today that I'm still close with from AAU to high school now. And he taught me a lot of techniques and just life skills as being a young man growing up. And I really appreciate him for it.